Kalau dijanji apa bener sesambungan tuh bu? Aku kyo kerungu kerungu. Fikri ki mau mantapin rumah sakit ketemu ibu Nurah. Iku kalau dian. Oh ada. Kyo. Oh. Hi guys. Here I would like to review a movie that has been very much discussed lately. Yes, it was Tilik. Who doesn't know about this movie? I think almost all Indonesian citizens watch this movie, especially in this pandemic. Because it was entertaining in the midst of an unrelenting pandemic anxiety. So let's jump into it. Tilik movie. Script and voice by me, my name is Arun Puspitasari and I am from English Literature student of Universitas Erlangga. The genre of this movie is comedy. The director is Wahyu Agung Prasetyo. The producer here is Elena Rosmeisare and the writer is Bagus Sumartono. The cast or the actor are Siti Fauzia, Brilian Desi, Angelina Rizky, Diah Maulani, Dwi Shekisrani, Hardiansah Yoga Pratama, Tri Sudarsono, Gotrek, Ratna Indria Stuti, and Stefanus Wahyu Gumilar. The production of this movie is Rafatana Films. Actually, it was released on 2018 in Indonesia, but it was published on YouTube in 2020. The duration of this movie approximately 32 minutes. The country definitely Indonesia and the language that used in this movie is Japanese. Before I review this movie, I would like to tell about the characters that will be discussed in this review. First, the main characters is Butejo and Dian. Butejo is described as a person who feels so smart because she knows well about technology and positioning herself as the most correct person. She also feels she has more power and knows everything. Along the way, she kept on gossiping about Dian, a beautiful young woman or Victor's girlfriend. With great flexibility, Buteja explained various things that seem to be a fact that Dian is the future daughter-in-law of Bulura, who doesn't write or a bad girl and could disrupt the residents, especially the integrity of who sold. Because she was suspected of oven teasing men who were already married. The basic state by Butejo is the news on social media that contains information about Dian. Besides being fond of talking about the disgrace of Nick Burs, Butejo's character is also described as someone who likes to show off her will. So that is enough to know you name. This can be seen from the amount of jewelry she used, even though she only goes to visit people who are sick, which is Bulura. Butejo is also easy to spend money as well as promoting her husband as a candidate for the new village head. On the other hand, the main character in this story is Dian. Even though Dian's character only appears a few minutes at the end of the film, actually she has a big role in this film because she entertains all the passengers on this trip. Dian, whose name was mentioned from the beginning, became the hottest topic that sparked a head argument. And the next character is Yuning. Yuning, that is not good to swallow information raw without knowing the accuracy of the search. Unique is the true defender who feels that she believes that she was true. The information that she get is true. That Dian is not a bad woman as described by Butejo, even though in reality, Unique doesn't cross-check the information and only puts her own preferences as the most correct. Yusam and Butri here playing as the supporting roles. They are a kind of soft and indecisive voices when the gossip surface began. This also represents several groups of people who, when exposed the flow of information, just go along with it and sometimes even become people who fight each other. So, let's start it about this movie. In Japanese, this means to visit. Likewise, this film, which followed the journey of a group of women from a village to the hospital to visit Bulura, who is being treated. The group went to the hospital using a truck belonging to one of the residents because 
the buses that were usually used couldn't be ordered suddenly. And during the journey, the gossip has become the main ingredient of this film. This gossip turned out to be the name of Dian or Kembang Desa, who in fact garnered great attention from all the passengers in this journey. In the climax, there was a war conversation between Budajo and Yuni, who turned out the Dian's family. At the end of the story, after a group of women came home, from the hospital because they couldn't visit Bulura because Bulura still in ICU. It depicted Dian entering a car in which a middle-aged man was called Mas. To the man, Dian spilled her anxiety and revealed that she could no longer have a secret relationship and she also worries. Can figure except the fact that he knows his father will marry. So... I had likes and I found the two interest topic for me. First is about gossip. Tilik is one of the smart films that raises the daily pattern of our society in general. This film presents reality clearly, firmly, and preciously. Photographing the habits that people often face in their daily life make this film so close. This is also due to the local values that are displayed through the Japanese dialect and language throughout the film. If you look closely, this film actually has a big mission to explain the impact of hoaxes or fake news that are widespread in one social circle or even in the social media. There will always be one person who is considered to have the ability to access more information so that whatever she say, it always true. The term smart person in here is considered as a god who knows many things or everything. Regardless of whether the information was true or false, no one felt the need to verify it anyway. In fact, Indonesia is a country that has a large collective cultures, seems to provide space for people like this. And the second topic is about generational difference. These two features, I mean, Muteja and Dian, represents women from different generations and cultures. Dian is a modern woman who spends a lot of time working and positioning marriage as a priority, but not a solution, or even a second priority. On the other hand, Buteja views marriage as a must and must be on time, according to the age of the determined by the society. It can be said uh, 25 years old or 26 years old. Both of these view are implicitly conveyed in the film that when a woman enters the environment or society, she will always be required to participate in regulation that actually don't benefit the woman herself much. This short film seems to explain that in this modern era, there are still many people who see the stigma against women who choose to work and earn money as a bad group of women. We certainly cannot blame Buteja's mindset, which can be considered as an old people mindset. The story of Jan and Butejo also seems to tell that the woman supports woman movement hasn't been fully implemented. So overall, this film uses a cultural, cultural approach that is displayed and doesn't merely place the quality of the film on various angels. Slice of life stories or the realities of everyday life such as the culture of corruption and gossip get the right portion in each scene. This film is a kind of breakthrough which states that the power of dialogue and actors is the main thing in a film besides the cinematography aspect. Sound and even the angel itself. Even though in reality as a complex story package, it seems difficult to find gaps in mis- or mistakes in that are dissatisfied for me as in viewers. The right music score plus the beautiful scenery over throughout the film's journey illustrate the wisdom of the city of Yogyakarta. The plot twist presented is indeed not too biting. It needs a lot of explanation, including who are the real men in the car. Is the ex-husband of Bura or Fikri's father or the uncle that resident saw was walking with Dian at the mall. Who knows? Do you think this riddle should be solved together? Or will there be a delete too? So let's write it. 
I think that's all for me. Thank you for listening my podcast. See you.